Most people think of Epstein-Barr virus as just a common childhood infection, but new research suggests it may have a much deeper role in autoimmune disease. Almost all of us carry Epstein-Barr virus or EBV for life, usually without symptoms. But a new study comparing immune cells from people with SLE to healthy controls found something striking. Lupus patients had significantly more EBV-infected B cells, and these cells weren't behaving like normal B cells. Instead, the virus appeared to reprogram them turning them into potent antigen-presenting cells, cells capable of activating helper T cells and setting off a broader autoimmune cascade. This helps explain a long-standing question why Epstein-Barr virus infection is almost universal, yet only some people develop autoimmune disease. The answer likely involves genetic vulnerability, environmental exposures, and the specific way the immune system reacts when EBV is active inside certain B cell populations. It is important to stress that this research does not prove EBV directly causes lupus and everyone who carries the virus. Autoimmunity is complex and requires the right combination of risk factors. But the findings do strengthen the long suspected connection between EBV and autoimmune conditions, showing how a common virus can make a subtle reshape immune regulation under the right circumstances. How do you feel about a virus this widespread potentially influencing autoimmune risk? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and follow it on Fever Health IQ.